and welcome to the channel, welcome to the show, I'm Captain E, how are you? I hope you are doing good. This is, this is playthrough number eight of Detroit Become Human. Say hi to my nice I hope you had Android. a nice experience yesterday. It's good to see you again. And it's good to see you too. Oh, boy, if, if we ever get better capable androids to work with us around the house, sign me up for, for the help. Um, I, I don't mind working with androids at, at all. But like I said, this is playthrough number eight of Detroit Become Human. We we lost Tara and possibly Alice. I know I feel so sad about that, but God, um, I was really trying to do the do all the button inputs on time to get her out of the house. But it'll be interesting when... Look tired today. I hope you're doing okay. Yeah, I am. Don't worry about me. Anyway, like I said, I, we lost Tara and Alice. I'm, I'm curious to see how the whole story progresses from there. I'm gonna be quiet now and we're gonna find out. So let, let's go. And remember, if you haven't followed or subscribed to my Twitch or YouTube channels, feel free to links to um them uh, um, um below in the description page I mean in the description section um below the video so let's go find uh Hello, Amanda. Hi. I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Two investigations. Two failures. That's very disappointing. 
I expected more from our best model. I have no excuse. I should have been more efficient. Did you manage to learn anything? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? It's improving. I've come to understand him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Lieutenant Anderson! Easy... Sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner.
Lieutenant. Wake up, Lieutenant. It's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own safety. Hey! I'll have to warn you. Leave me alone, you fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Lee, get the fuck out of here! Shimo! Attack! Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole! I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <sighs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should- Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. This homicide... What do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today. She demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately.
Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Many experts are suggesting the specter of a third world war draws closer every day. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me.
Herbalife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? What are you doing? I told you to.
Let's finish up and get out of here. I'll try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in ten minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Damn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? 
Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling that. Get in! A truckload! We stole a whole truckload! We load. had bio components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Thank you.
Okay, folks, I'm gonna call it here for the day. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow for part nine of Detroit Become Human. Thank you very much for coming and watching the show and clicking on the video and watching the videos in in the playlist. There is a playlist for you guys to watch the videos in, in order. Um, this video will be a part of that playlist. So don't fear. But there will be more coming tomorrow and all throughout the week. I will play this until I get a ending to the, the game. And let's hope it's a good one. <laughs> all right. Until next time, please be safe and well. And, and I will see you again tomorrow in the, in the next video. B bye for now.